Hey everybody, I got something special in the mail and I would like to open it with you. Um, I've already unboxed it because there was um, some weird, funky, hinky business at the post office and I had to open the box in front of them at the post office. But luckily, the book itself remains wrapped. So I am going to unwrap this and we'll see. I know what it is, but but you probably don't. So we'll see what it is. I've not seen one of these in person, so it's new to me as well. Well wrapped. Cool, cool, cool. And it's bagged, which I can appreciate. Cool. <laughs> All right. So this is the artist signed edition of The Dark Tower 5, Wolves of the Kala, published by Grant. Pop, pop this open. Pop the wrapper open. And take a look. Yep, and it's covered in mylar. Very nice. Hot damn, that thing is like hot off the presses. It's like brand new. That's great. So the artist, the artist signed edition looks a heck of a lot like the first trade edition. Um, the distinction being that the first trade edition, which was published by Grant in collaboration with Scribner. Uh, I don't think Grant is equipped to do books at the hundreds of thousands of copies scale. It had their their name and, and a nice finish on it for a trade edition, but it was actually published by Scribner with the Grant name. Anyway, this was published just by Grant. It has a special Smith sewn binding, so it's a bit higher quality. It's it is more durable, it'll last longer. And rather than the six six 650,000 copy print run of the first trade edition, this one is limited to 3,500 copies. So it, it does make it a uh, re relatively limited edition. And it's, I believe, yeah, it's my first Bernie Wrightson signature. So that's very cool. The, the edition is limited to 3,500 copies for sale. Very nice. It has nice, nice high quality paper. The artwork is a little bit um, nicer than the first trade edition. I'm, I'm just now realizing that paper is a little bit thicker, glossier. Very nice. Very, very cool. And underneath the jacket fits right in with the other Dark Tower books from Grant man that is like brand spanking new that's really cool so it's not it's not my favorite book in the Dark Tower series it's the end papers it's not my favorite book in the Dark Tower series but it's it's pretty darn good Very, very cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause for a sec. I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna put this on the shelf in its place of honor, and we'll take a look at my dark tower shelf. I'll be right back. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> there it is on the shelf. In its place of honor. So I'm still missing a few things, but I like the way this is coming together. So starting here. Book two, Trying of the Three, that's a first edition. The Wastelands is a first edition. Wizard in Glass is first edition. The Wind Through the Keyhole, book 4.5, is another artist signed um, first edition. And then books five, six, and seven are the um, artist signed first editions as well. 
think Wolves and Song of Susanna are each 3,500 copies, and the final book is 5,000 copies. And it was actually available directly through Grant um, until just the last few years. And then starting over, um, have some trade paperbacks, uh, trade hardcovers, what I would consider to be my reading copies for the next time I make my way through the series, my next journey to the tower. And over here, um, a, re a version, an edition of the revised text, and then a, a trade paperback of the original text. So those still both they end up in the main collection here with my fancy books because they represent the two versions of the original text. So ideally, what I would love to do at some point is to um, replace both of these and replace the original, the original text with an original Grant hardcover. Um, I'd love a first edition or a second edition because of the artwork. I'm not a huge fan of the third edition artwork and typography. And even that one, I had a chance a few years ago to pick one of those up for, oh, 100 bucks or so. And totally should have done it because now that book is like everything else Stephen King creeping up, up, up. And I'd like to replace this, which is not a first edition or a first printing, um, I'd like to replace this revised gunslinger text with a copy of The Little Sisters of Alluria from Grant, which is a super deluxe, um, at least by these standards, a super deluxe edition that is oversized and includes the revised text of the gunslinger as well as the novella, the accompanying novella, The Little Sisters of Eluria. So that would be neat. Someday this end of the shelf will have those two items, but for now, seven out of eight ain't bad. This is, I think, you know, fa as fancy as you can get without um, leveling up and splurging for the Stephen King signed editions, which of course are exponentially more expensive and which I do not have. But anyway, there's my Dark Tower shelf. It's coming together pretty nice.